In this video, I'm going to be working with layers, photo edges, and brushes to create a composite image using this snowboarder photo. I'm going to go ahead and start by grabbing my background layer, pulling it down to the new layer icon, just to duplicate that background image. I'm going to turn off the visibility of our original background. And I'm going to click the new layer icon once again, move over to my color picker, set white as a foreground color, and do an option delete or alt delete on the PC to fill that layer with white. I'm then just going to drop that layer in behind my copied background layer in my layers palette. This will give us a nice white surface to work on as opposed to the checkerboard surface that uh, um, is visible if we don't put that white layer in behind our image. It just makes things easier. I'm then going to open up my edge file that I'm going to be using for this particular project. I'm going to drag from the layers palette right into my working area. We'll move that edge to the top. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Hit a command or control T on the PC to do a free transform of that photo edge. I'll drag it into place and I'll hit a return or enter to apply that transform. I'm then going to place that edge behind my background copy in my layers palette. Select the background copy photo of my snowboarder and I'm going to go up to the layers menu and go down to create clipping mask. Aha! Uh -huh. There an edge has been applied. I'm going to reposition by clicking on the edge layer and just kind of slide that effect down a little bit to get it away from the edges of my working document. Looks pretty good there. But we've got a few spots where it's kind of hard to see the head and the arm of this snowboarder. So I'm going to click on my brush tool, my tool palette. And as you can see, I have loaded in a brush that may not be familiar to many of you. Uh, it's actually a custom brush, and I can find that by simply going to load brushes, or you can do a replace brushes. I'm going to load up this custom brush, and there it is again. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, size the diameter down to a working size. I'm going to make sure that my edge layer is selected in the layers palette and then I'm just going to simply go in by clicking I'll scrub around here a little bit and simply paint in the more important areas within this photo Next I'll go back to my layers palette and with the edge layer selected I'm going to put in a drop shadow behind this image. I'm going to soften up the opacity of the drop shadow just a little bit and I will hit OK. Now next I'm going to drop in by selecting layer 1, which is the white layer. I'm going to grab 
a new background to place in behind a snowboarder. I'm just going to grab once again that background layer, hold down shift, and drop it into my working image. Now you want to make sure that your layers, uh, your, your top two layers here, the image of the background copy uh, and your edge layer, make sure that those are not selected because that will affect the clipping mask that we had originally made. I want to make sure that that layer gets dropped in um, toward the bottom, right above our white layer that has been cr created uh, when we first started. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Hit a command or control T on that utility door layer. I'm going to size it down so it fits my image just a little bit better. Get it in a position. And I'll hit a return or enter to apply that transform. Now things are starting to come into shape. I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to select a copy of my snowboarder and the layer that has this edge effect on it. I'm going to go up to my Layers menu and roll down to Group Layers. And this will put those layers in a nice compact folder here that I can select and move both of those layers within that group simultaneously. Now this also allows a little bit of flexibility because I can grab my edge layer independently from inside of that group and manipulate it independent of the photograph of the snowboarder. I'll put that in a position where I think it's going to work and that is basically it.